everybody, it's Bryn Brewer, your South Texas Market Center Tech Trainer, and today we're going to be going over customizing your assets in your design editor inside of Command. So, first off, we're going to go to agent.kw.com, agent.kw.com, and we're going to sign in with our Keller Cloud login. Once we're inside of the command, we're going to click on the design icon on the left hand side. And then once you're inside of designs, you're going to click on create design in the upper right hand corner. Click on either social or print, either one doesn't matter, and click continue. Once you're inside of the design editor, we're going to click on assets in the top, and we're going to come to our main page that shows color palettes and font. Here, if you have brand colors, you can add them. So we're going to click on the plus icon on the main palette section and you can drag this slider to the colors that you prefer you can type in your color code if you know it you can also use the eyedropper and you can get your color that way so let me just click on my eyedropper here and try to get this red kw and there you have it i have the red kw that showed up there if you want to add another color you're just going to click the plus button drag the slider over and add the color that easy you can also click on the right hand side add color palette and you can call this one by renaming it with the three dots maybe your brand and colors and you can add colors into that as well so by clicking the plus button so i'm going to use the eyedropper grab my purple that i like to use and put that in there and there you have it i have my purple white and black you can also use the three dots to rename or delete a palette so we have our main palette and now i have my brand color palette and then we also have the font section i can upload fonts by using this upload button so if you have fonts on your computer you can click or drag and drop to upload a font from your computer and then you can also search the web for fonts so if you have a font that you're looking for you can click that button there type in the font you're looking for or scroll through the fonts that are already here for you. When you see one you like, click the toggle to turn it green and turn it on and do that for everything you would like to see inside of your design. Once you're done, click the add button and those fonts are added to your font section of your design asset. The next section is images. This is going to be for any image that you might use over and over. So your headshots, QR codes, things like that. You can upload or add a folder. So what I would do is click add folder, type in headshots, click OK. And then also you can upload. So I would click on upload from my device and go to my pictures, upload my headshots. Click on upload and now I have my headshot that I can move into the folder. So I might would just click on this, drag and drop it into my headshots folder. And then I would have my assets that will always be here and I can use them for any design that I would like. You can also click on the three dot at the bottom of your photo and click on remove background and command will completely remove the background for you so that you can have an image that has no background for your design. And as you can see, it's already done it for me. I didn't have to do anything but click the remove background button and now I have an image that has no background. Moving on to the text section. These are fields that are commonly used inside of your designs. So it's going to be like your home phone, your email, your website, company name. Some of these should already be auto populated for you. If they're not, just click on the new field button and click on the field that you would like to use. We have first name here and we will just type in our first name and click save. You'll do this for every field that you would like to auto populate onto your design. The next section is logos. Same thing applies here as it did in the text. We're going to either add a folder or upload. So you could add a folder by clicking add folder and you could call these, you know, KW logos, click OK. You could add another fo folder and call these team logos if you're on a team, click OK. And to upload a folder, you're just going to click the upload button, click from my device and we're going to go to, you will repeat this process for any elements you have. Elements are stickers, objects, shapes, or icons that that you might use. Same thing with videos. You can add folders and add videos. The videos you might want to add are intros and outros that you might use on your just listed videos or any other kind of videos that you would use. You're just going to click on add video and click upload. Find the video on your device, click on it and click open and then click upload. You can also add a video by clicking the add video button link and getting a link from YouTube. You would go over to YouTube, find the URL of the video and paste it here. So I'm just going to go over to YouTube, click on the video I want to share or add, add to my command. I'm going to click on the share button, click on copy, and then I'm going to go back over and paste this into that little box. And then now I can use this video in my design. And you can do the same thing with files. Click on add folders or upload just the same way that you did on everything there. And now we should have our assets set up and we're ready to go. 